what is up you guys so today i'm going to be talking about winter disc golf and i know it's not fun for a lot of people but once you figure out how to get past you know how much things have changed or how much you think they've changed it, it's still fun right i mean you can still throw far despite you know not throwing as far as you can in the summer i mean you lose like 20 maybe to 40 feet at max you really don't lose that much distance and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. So the biggest thing I feel like people do not understand at all is that in the winter, yes, it does get colder, but the only thing disc related that is actually really affected is like how flexible the disc is, right? In the summer, you know, discs are a lot softer and you can uh, bend them more, but in the winter they get more stiff. You know, I don't really know how plastic, you know, all that stuff, like I don't really know how the materials react and all stuff to cold, so I can't like give you like a scientific like thing, but I know for a fact like, like hot molecules, they uh, have more space to move around and cold molecules are all uh, like pushed together and like they move a lot slower. And I think that's the re that's also the reason why in the winter your discs are more likely to break. Unfortunately, that happened to one of my favorite discs. But besides that, this really only affects you in your like distance throws, right? So you have like a disc that flips up. It's like not going to flip up as much, or it's just going to finish its flight earlier or not even flip up if you don't throw it hard enough. You're going to have to throw it even harder to get it to do what you want it to do. So I was throwing um, my DX T-Bird for like a huge drive and that thing is so beat up as you guys can see. It's so old and beat up, but it just didn't flip. I mean, it was still a good drive and all, but it didn't get the huge distance I was expecting, mainly because it's cold and it just, uh, it wasn't able to flex, like it wasn't able to flip up the way I was hoping for. So it just hydrated out a little bit early and it was still a good drive, but it just didn't get the distance I was thinking, and that's because it was cold, and the disc is stiffer, and people say it's more stable, but that is not true. It just doesn't, uh, it just finishes, in my opinion, I think the disc just finishes its flight sooner, but you can't really take my word on it, mainly because there's no, like, I don't, I'm not doing a study on it or anything. I'm, this is just my personal opinion, so depends how you throw i guess so maybe some people have different opinions but if anyone says the disc gets more stable that's completely a lie and don't listen to them if they're saying the disc gets more stable i mean it might seem like it but that's not really what's going on it's just less flexible that's my opinion so now that we got that out of the way what can you do about winter disc golf now i think some of the main things are at first driving right because you know you don't really feel your hands and really the way to get around that is just, you know, hand warmers or just keep your hands in your pocket is keep them as warm as possible because if your hands were like, you know, totally normal, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be any different. Your disc would just be a little bit stiffer and it would fly pretty much exactly the same and you really have no problem. But the thing is, uh, once your hands get cold, you can't, I feel like the touch that you put on the disc is so important, especially for sidearm and when I put turbo, that is like a huge thing. I need to be able to feel my hand. I mean, I can still putt and drive pretty well, but um, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. It was so weird because I couldn't feel my hand at all and I would just be like, all right, I'm gonna throw the disc and I would still out drive people, but it felt like I wasn't even throwing the disc. It was just like falling out of my hand is what it felt. I mean, the drives were still good, but it felt like it was just falling out of my hand. I had no control over it. And that's because my hand was too cold. And honestly, they fly pretty much exactly the same. I don't understand um, people who, you know, they upgrade their, they change their entire bag for the winter. Don't do that unless you have things that are old and you don't want them to get broken or something like that. Because in the winter, yes, it's more likely that they're going to break if you hit a tree or something like that. But don't go and switch all the stuff that you know how to throw. It doesn't make any sense to me. And another thing I was going to say like that, a lot of people in the winter, uh, you know, since they're losing their touch, they don't want to throw like understable stuff, you know, because more likely they're just going to flip it over because um, they can't really feel their hand anymore, right? They're, they don't really have as much control as they did before. Like they're not going to throw like a flippy, you know, mid-range or something like that. They'd rather just throw like a driver you know, like sidearm flick or something like that. So they don't really have to think about it. Now that is totally fine if you're not very experienced, but for people who do that, but would still rather throw like a flippy uh, mid-range or whatever, 
and they know how to throw like you really don't have to upgrade it at all you can throw exactly the same stuff i mean other if it's a, if it's windy that's totally different but like if there's no wind it's just really cold you can throw exactly the same stuff i still drive with putters in the winter time and people will ask me like people like people who see me do it they're like wow you threw a putter or whatever and i parked the hole like it doesn't matter it, it flies pretty much exactly the same the disc is just a little bit stiffer and you're not losing nearly as much distance as you actually think you are. So, so far, I'm pretty much telling you, you don't need to um, club up on your discs and you aren't really losing as much distance as you're thinking. So what else can you do to make your winter game just a little bit better? Now, the first thing I would say is practice putting. So like if you throw backhand and you're just, you're basically just dropping it in like a beanbag, don't, you don't really need to worry about it too much, but you know, since your hands are going to get colder and it's going to be a little more difficult, I would say practice putting. Like, that was the main thing for me. As soon as I started practicing putting and then, um, you know, it started feeling a lot better, then I felt, like, a lot more confident. Not, it wasn't, I wasn't even putting that bad. It's just, you know, there would be some where I should make it and then I miss. And then I'm just, like, you know, it gets in my head and then I'm playing bad the rest of the round. But um, practice putting for sure. Now, the biggest thing I would say for winter disc golf is make sure to just layer up. Do not wear like uh, huge, like, you know, don't wear like hardcore like uh, boots that you would wear to like work or something like that. Uh, just wear, and don't wear like a huge heavy jacket that will 100% keep you warm, but like, you know, you can't run around in it. You know, you need stuff so you can run around in. So like, if I was gonna dress up for disc golf, I'd probably wear, you know, a t-shirt and then two long sleeves and maybe like, you know, a light jacket or something like that. And I mean, there are going to be times where you're going to have to like wear more than that, but like usually most of the time that's, you know, that's good enough. And for, you know, pants, usually just one pair of pants and like long socks. I mean, I've lived in the winter for a long time. So, well, I lived up north for a long time. So it's like, we always have winter and I'm, I guess I'm more used to it, but usually I don't get really cold or anything. And I, in the winter, I, um, footwear wise you can pretty much wear whatever you want like it, it, um, it's, unless it's money then you might want to wear boots or something like that but really you can wear whatever you want in the winter as long as it as long as it works for you disc golf wise now those of you who uh want to see like the difference of like how flexible or like a disc is when it's cold you can't really tell i mean i took a few uh of my discs that were inside you know that are pretty beat up and uh, they feel exactly the same as they do in the winter but i think it's just something you can't really notice because i mean you can still see like it's 20 something degrees out here but this thing is pretty not that stiff i mean i can still like bend it and stuff and i have never thrown this uh nuke before uh but one thing i wanted to mention is that you need to bring at least two towels with you when you disc golf in the winter because if you throw something and it gets stuck in the snow like this, it's gonna eventually leave stuff like this. And it's basically, playing in the winter is basically like playing in the rain, right? You don't want uh, this kind of stuff. And if it's warmer than 32 degrees, this even gets worse, right? You can't just, uh, you know, shake it off and it, it'll stick to the disc, especially since your hand is warm. I mean, even if it's really cold, it's gonna stick to the disc, but if it's warmer than 32, it's really gonna be on there for a long time unless you wipe it off. I mean, it's gonna be really awful. And if especially for putting it's really gonna affect your putter it's gonna make it drop a little bit faster because the disc is a bit heavier so you really want to watch out for that if you haven't already heard i'm holding a disc golf league every thursday We're starting at 6 p.m it's going to be a glow league um pretty much year round until you know summer and spring when it's actually still light out but yeah it's going to be at banamere if you live around that area make sure to come i'm gonna be there's a lot of stuff i want to give away for like ctps and stuff so i'm gonna try to make the leagues as fun as possible and it's only 10 bucks to get in five dollar ace pool and i hope to see you guys there if you live around the area and you're interested in playing but anyways guys i hope these tips helped you for um improving your winter disc golf game because uh, for me it's like before i really start thinking about it it's kind of just like all right you go and play and you just don't play as well right i mean now it's like 
I feel like I can actually do something about it. I can still throw drives, you know? It's it's like nothing really changes. It's, it's kind of strange, like, how easy it is to just apply some of these things I've been talking about. And your game is just the same as it was in the summer. But anyways, guys, make sure to go try some of these things and think about some of these things. Uh, try not to throw super old stuff so you don't end up with any broken discs like me. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.